of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 25th of February, being Wednesday, and week one of Lent. Today, the Monday Church celebrates St. Peter Damien, is a bishop and doctor of the church. Our readings will be coming from Prophet Jonah chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. Our response to Psalm will come from Psalm 51, verse 19b. Our gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 9, 11, verse 29 to 32. The theme of our message today is evil generation seek for signs. It's on only an evil generation that seeks for signs. An evil generation is a generation that doesn't believe in God, doesn't heed to the word of God. The antichrist, the anti-God, they live according to their own will, not according to the will of God. Such evil generation is going to pretend that they are seeking the face of God. That's why they ask for signs. As you say, if the signs, if given to them, will make them to change. No. You say there was a crowd was gathering. Jesus was telling them, it's only an evil generation that seeks for sign. And no sign will be given to this generation except the sign of Jonah. And Jonah was a sign to the men of Nineveh, so the son of man will be a sign to this generation. Yes. Oh, person, no other sign will be given to you. And on the last day, the queen of Sheba will rise and condemn this generation because he came all the way from the south to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Because somebody greater than Solomon is here. On the last judgment day, the men on evil will rise and condemn this generation. For Jonah preached to them and they repented. But somebody greater than Jonah is here. I will tell you the condemnation that our leader was the generation that says for sign. Upon all the evidences around us, upon all the witnesses around us, they do not care. They're looking for more signs. They want to see the blind see, the lame walk, the dead rise. That's when they will know, believe God. And even if you do, they will have something to counter it. That's what Jesus says. No sign will be given to them. And that's why they showed us an example of a good generation. That God called Jonah and said, Arise and go to the, that big city of Nineveh and proclaim the word I give, I tell you. And Jonah went. Nineveh is a great city. It takes three days to cross it. But the, the, Jonah did only one day. I was ringing his bell and said, 40 days, Nineveh will be overthrown. 40 days, Nineveh will be overthrown. And the men of Nineveh fear God. They call a fast. And went into sackcloth. And begin to repent of their evil ways. And when the king of Nineveh heard about it, he called the meeting of his nobles and made a decree that every person should fast. Male and female, adult and children, even innocent children, including animals, should fast. And as the every person should turn away from his ways, let's see whether God will show us mercy. And when God saw that the men of Nineveh repented of their evil ways, God repented of what he did to do to that city. So it's the same call that is calling all of us today that we should repent and turn back to God. The evils we do are with us. We know them. I've been called to leave those things, turn to good. There is no person benefit from evil. There is no person who, who is prospering by evil and survive. There is no person who celebrates evil and the joy is complete. It's only goodness that brings peace. Goodness that brings joy. Goodness that brings unity. Goodness that brings God around us. But God is good. Yes, no other person is good except God. And when you are in him, you are good. Men of Nineveh turned back to God and became good people. And people who will not turn back to God will be looking for more signs. 
And now why today? The psalmist who understood this so well do say, a broken and humble heart, O oh God, you will not stomp, spawn. A broken and humble heart, O oh God, you will not spawn. Yes. Any heart that is broken and humbled in self and turn back to God will not be spawned. You have had it today. So if you, if you turn back to God today, he will not abandon you. He didn't abandon the men on any way. But see, the people who have sought for God, seeking wisdom of Solomon, Jonah prayed to them, that somebody greater than Jonah is here, and we wouldn't listen. God has spoken to us in a different way, but finally has spoken to us through his own son. May God help us understand today that we should turn back to God and live and stop looking for signs because the signs are all around us. We should turn back and repent and believe the good news and live. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will turn to good generation, not evil generation again. Name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.